Hello everyone. Today I thought I'd show you um, the beta firmware for the Digikai's DR5000. Um, it's quite interesting what it now supports alongside all the other um, protocols as well. Because um, obviously it, it supports, you know, <laughs> quite a lot. It supports, you know, a lot of Digitrack stuff, a lot of the Lens stuff. Um, and it runs off S88, I think it is. Um, also the Rocco stuff, the Fleischmann stuff, all sorts, you know, quite a lot of things. Um, there's only a few that it doesn't do. Um, some of those are like ESU, um, uh, and some others that I can't quite remember right now. But NC is another one I think it doesn't do. But you know, it supports quite a, a few um, prot different protocols. So I say I'll, I'll just show you what the new beta firmware does. Um, and to be honest with you, it makes this quite a good bargain, really. Um, so let's get on with it. Okay, so the one downside to this DCC system is you do need to have it connected to a computer um, in order to have it running. This is the um, application that you sort of download and comes with it. Um, so th this is what effectively controls it all, everything sort of goes to the computer. Um, choose my dad's old laptop here um, until I get something better but for me it's not a problem because I'm going to compute control anyway so I will have computers up here. Um, if you never ever planned on doing that then maybe it's not the system for you but uh, for me it does what I do, it does what I want to do. So. so the thing that sort of changed within all this um, is if I go under LAN um, you can see under the protocol you can see here we've got Z21 slash VLAN mouse which effectively changes the turns the, the um, wireless part of, of the wireless network card that's in this um, DCC system and it allows you to use those. So you can use any of these. Um, obviously, ExpressNet, I think that's Lens, I think. LocoNet, obviously, that's Digitrack stuff. Um, Dr. Command, no idea what that is. Uh, another LocoNet. Um, and then, like I say, Z21 and WLAN mouse. So I'll run you through what they can do. Okay, so I'm on my workbench here. Um, I've got my old uh, Tesla Loco. Um, I've made up a bit of a uh, programming track on a little bit of a plywood I'd left uh, with a bit of a CNL track. Um, this is plugged in at the back, just using one of these plug in terminal blocks. So, nice and simple when I want to set it up and use it. Plug it in. Um, so yeah, obviously Z21 app. A lot of you are quite familiar with this. There's lots of videos on it, so I'm not going to um, go into it too much. But as for you know what the Digicars can do, um, it can pretty much do everything from what I found. Um, obviously, if going to programming. And click on read, you'll see it's just um, reading the loco. So it's address 3. I'll change that to the number of it. Just ignore that noise behind you, it's um, that's my heater. Just trying to keep myself warm, get chilly out. So, enter the number. So, you know. You can program perfectly fine. So it does do programming. Um, 
it, it does. As far I've I've not found anything that doesn't work. I've not tried um, any of the driver's cab stuff because I haven't got one with a camera in it and all that lot. Um, obviously, you can create uh, your layout with turnouts that you can operate. Um, so you know. You've got lots of configuration options, so it's great if you want something that's more just touchscreen, um, railed vehicle settings. So obviously I've got my panning in there and my my, my Batman one knife, um, and you can sort of take a photo of it. And there's all your um, touchscreen controls for all your functions. None of these have any functions in them at the minute. Um, I did think about getting my SLW. Class 24 out, but uh, it's downstairs and I couldn't be bothered to be honest. So it does everything it needs to do as a you know as a digital control um, thing. So I'll take you over to the fiddle yard again and I'll show you what it show you it uh, working. Okay, so I've got both the locos on the. Um, on the layout now. Um, as you can sort of see you've got your control thing, that's where your functions would be you've got your direction of travel and then what we have to do is just change direction and just you just play with it just you know by controlling with the touch screen um, which is pretty cool obviously you can bring up my 1F might be able to see it running. So it's really sort of intuitive and um, it's pretty great to be honest. And then if I wanted to con uh, change the points tool, obviously go to the, the map of the fiddle yard. Um, it's yeah. It's a bit finicky the way it works. Um, if you hold it landscape, you get both, so you can control it and change points. And all you do by changing points is just click on whichever one you want. Um, what I've done is just make it so it expands out like that, and I've built in some routes. So, say for the panel that's on number four, I just click on route number four, and it just switches all the points, so it will just allow it to travel all the way through without worrying about um, without it stopping except when you hit dirty track of course so which one my track is dirty um, <laughs> so it's you know really good especially if you, like, you wanted say a phone or something something small for just using the, the, the train control on and then say you wanted like a cheap tablet and you could just sort of mount this somewhere and use it as a, a control board um, detection works as well with it so that works um, so as far as I can tell everything that would work if you bought a normal uh, Z21 app works just the same so um, yeah So, personally, I, I think that's really good, especially when you think about one of the uh, black Z21s is about 300 quid, and then this unit's about 145. So you're getting exactly the same for you know half the price, pretty much. Um, I'll show you what else it uh, does. Yeah, I've got the. This is the Rocco WLAN mouse. Um, it's basically it's like the um, red one they do that you plug in, um, but this one's obviously runs off wireless. So you know, nice and simple. You know, change your loco. 
Oh, so it's at the 1F they are. But the best thing is, you know, with all these things is I can walk about the loft and operate without having to worry about plugging in um, devices and stuff. I think this was about 70 or 80 quid when I bought it. So, you know. Really nice and cheap. You could do your point changing and everything on it, but I think I prefer something with a bit of a touch screen for all the points and then just use things like this. Um, or the Z21 app on, on like a phone or something just for controlling because it's just a lot easier to walk around with and just, you know, play with. So that's really good. Um, I'll show you one last thing that it it's also pretty good with it and if I just set things up for you. So here I've got train controller running um, and one of the worries I had was that um, could it, you know, could I, I mount something like the 21 as a control panel but still have it show up on train controller when you like a change point and stuff and the answer is yes. So if I try and zoom in, say on this top, top left hand corner, and yeah, I'm, to be honest, I'm not going to be able to do it, but <laughs> if I change this top point here, as you can see at the minute, it's set to come on that top road as it is on here, just there. So if I change it, so as, as I change a few points, You'll see it does does all these as well. So it does work with the Z21, with the train controller plugged in, and all the other devices. It works flawlessly. So to me. I mean, for me, but personally, it's a really good system. I don't think it works with the e link, I'm afraid. Those with the e link. I um, don't think nothing really works with the e link. Um, I have got an e link, but I just, personally, I didn't, quite, I didn't get along with it. So, um, I went with these. Um, which, you know, it works for me. It might not work for some people, but it works for me. So, I just thought I'd show you what the update brings. Um, like I say, it's half the price of Binance Z21, and it does exactly the same thing. So, um, but it do, again, it does require it to be connected to a computer at all times and have that on and running. Um, but like I say, for when you're running computer control, it doesn't really matter. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm. I've almost finalised my layout plans, so that's what I'm going to be working on next, and hopefully I'll be able to show you that soon. Um, that's it for now, so thanks for watching. Bye.